how can you optimize the onboarding of SaaS subscribers to reduce churn and increase recurring revenue? That's what we'll discuss on this episode. I'm Robert Scrobe, and this is the show that helps your subscription or membership business to be unleavable. Today, we'll discuss SaaS companies, which stands for Smoothies as a Service. Smoothies as a Service is a real business. And if you live in Northern Utah, you can subscribe to have smoothies delivered on a weekly basis, which is amazing. Sign me up. Well, actually, our topic today is a different kind of SaaS, software as a service. Adobe was a leader in the movement away from buying software as a one-time purchase to paying a subscription to access a bundle of software that comes with regular updates. Today, software as a service is one of the fastest growing areas of the subscription world with thousands of startups building and promoting tools, each aiming to enhance your life. But for SaaS today, new subscriber acquisition has never been tougher. It's really expensive to acquire new subscribers. And that means keeping those subscribers is more important than ever. In this episode, I'm going to reveal how to do just that. Before we dive in, press the like and also subscribe to this channel to make sure that you're the first to know about future episodes. Most people in the SaaS world conflate SaaS onboarding with the idea of customer success. Customer success is this buzzword phrase that you'll hear everywhere. And while it's obviously important that your customer gets value from your product, choosing some arbitrary collection of actions and naming it customer success is, frankly, just as silly as doing nothing for onboarding. Too many SaaS companies show up with their tool without explaining when, where, and how somebody would use it. And they assume that everybody will be as excited as they are to use it. That would be great, but it just simply doesn't work like that. Consider an example. These may be the best wire strippers ever, but if a customer doesn't know when, where, or how to use them, it's all to no avail. Wire strippers are a great tool for many electrical projects. They can strip a 12 gauge, 10 gauge, or even a 22 gauge wire. You can describe the features of your wire strippers, demonstrating with animations how easy they are to use. But again, if your prospect doesn't know when, where, or how to benefit from them, they won't pay a subscription to use them. And even if the same prospect is willing to sign up for a free trial and jump through your hoops to make that happen, they're still not gonna buy because, or become a monthly subscriber until they understand exactly how to incorporate this new tool into their life or into their business. So it's fine to show up in the marketplace with a new tool, but you have to assume your prospect knows nothing and show them when, where, and how to benefit from the tool that you're providing. You'll need to help them see and understand how it truly makes their lives better. Otherwise, you'll be stuck pitching to very few people in the world who have the imagination and vision to recognize the value of your tool on their own. Truth is, sadly, most people are just too obsessed with their own lives to spend even an ounce of imagination on your subscription product. You must spell it out for them. Now you know what to communicate within your SaaS onboarding, let's discuss the best way to help your subscribers get these messages. When working with my clients to create a 100-day new subscriber on-ramp, we coordinate new subscriber emails, social posts, phone outreach, in-app notifications, direct mail, SMS, and other communication strategies each of these media can be useful in their own way. I'm gonna assume that you're starting out on a SaaS onboarding. Thus, here are the five key elements that you'll need to pay attention to. Number one, email. Two, video. Three, phone. Four, engagement. And number five, recognition. First, let's cover email. It's probably the easiest and the fastest to deploy. And it has a significant impact on your retention results. Every week, I'm working with subscription businesses to craft their email strategy for onboarding. 
Over the years, I've written thousands of emails and I know they get results fast so I can prove the return on investment to anyone within the business that may be skeptical. So start with email, but don't end there. Next, move on to number two, video. Human beings have been reading silently to themselves for only a few hundred years, but we've been watching people tell us stories for millennia. Welcome videos can be extremely powerful, and once you've created your email onboarding sequence, deciding what to include in that video is a lot easier. Often, I create a three-video series promoted as a bonus to accelerate a new subscriber's implementation. The videos include systems thinking and the process of how to incorporate the SaaS product into the subscribers' lives. The three email sequence works well because it's hard to get people to watch an hour or long webinar. Once your video is done, consider including number three, phone. Outbound calls to your new subscribers can be extremely powerful. I see all these SaaS startups out there on Twitter with the goal of getting 10,000 monthly recurring revenue or maybe 50,000 MRR. There's no reason you are, that you shouldn't be calling each new subscriber on the phone to find out what they need, get their impressions on your product, and teach them the systems thinking they need to be able to benefit from your product. Yes, it's work, but it's a lot easier than finding a new subscriber to replace the one that just left. That brings us to number four, engagement. I always love asking subscribers to interact with the business, even if it's just snapping a photo of the product opening to post on social. But whenever it's possible, I ask that we encourage subscribers to show us their work product, let us know when they Im implemented something, and to share their results with us. It demonstrates that we care. And just like it's easier to show up with a workout when you have a workout partner there waiting for you, having somebody looking for their work often helps them get engaged. And this also enables us to, number five, recognize. When a new subscribers get engaged and get results, promote them to your other subscribers. Share those positive results within your community. This social proof gets new subscribers excited and shows long-term subscribers that there's a lot of others like them who are also getting great results. Do this even when you're small to improve your retention of each new subscriber you acquire. And these systems will grow with you as you scale. That's what it takes to be unleavable. Let's summarize what we've covered today. SaaS onboarding has little to do with customer success. The secret to SaaS onboarding is to help your subscribers visualize how incorporating your tool into their life habits will make their lives better. Not through product demos, but by showing them others who are experiencing that success. While SaaS onboarding requires well thought out and designed 100 day communication plan incorporating all communication channels, here are the five key elements as a starting point. Number one, email the fastest way to prove results and test ideas. Number two, video, simple to produce today and the best way to communicate with new users. Also can be positioned as a bonus that improves your subscriber acquisition rates. Then number three, phone. You'll learn more than you thought even possible. And if you do it when you're small, you'll grow faster and you'll get the opportunity to systemize these outbound calls as you scale. Number four, engagement. Demonstrate that you care about your subscriber's success by asking them to show you their work. It improves results and gives you what you need for number five, recognition. Promote your subscriber success stories, not just new subscribers, but at multiple steps along the way. Now, if you've enjoyed and benefited from the concepts that I've shared in this episode, then I'm confident that you're going to love this resource. After more than 25 years of working with subscription and membership businesses, I've identified all of the key factors that are seen in the most successful subscription businesses. If you'd like to know what they are, you can either buy the book on Amazon or instantly download a digital copy for free at Subscriptions Made Easy. Com. After you receive the book, there's an opportunity to have me walk you through the details and get your questions answered. 
You'll probably want that too, but there's no obligation. How do you approach SaaS onboarding? What works best for you? I'd love to get your opinion and feedback about that or anything else that we've covered in this episode. Post your thoughts in the comments below. I always love to hear from you. Also, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll be the first to know when new episodes are available. The best place to begin SaaS onboarding is well with a well-written seven-day email sequence. Check out this video on how to create a seven-day email sequence with each day outlined for you so that you can retain more of your hard-won new subscribers. Enjoy that episode, and I'll see you next time on Be Unleavable.